today. I'm going to show you the unboxment. <laughs> today, I'm going to show you what these wheels look like. <laughs> today, I'm going to be unboxing these HK uh, Magna 500 wheels. They're 17 by 8s, 17 by 9s. Uh, going to, uh, <laughs> right here are a set of 17 by 8s, 17 by 9s, HK Magna 500 wheels. And the reason I got these wheels, besides all the other brands from the AR500s, the uh, Bandits, the uh, Rev 109s, because the lip on the back just made me want to get them. Hey guys, today. Little brother got some new wheels in. We're going to be unboxing them. These are Magnum 500 wheels from HK Wheels. He's going to be putting on his 72 Mach 1. I don't know why he had a problem with torque thrust, but apparently he did. He found these on sale at Summit. They had a little holiday sale, 20% off. We're going to get these things unboxed. We're going to throw one underneath here. We're going to kind of do some measuring. See if we can fit a 315 tire into this thing. Just because this car definitely needs some more meat under it. It blows these tires off. The torque thrusts that are on it are 17 by 10s on the back. And these uh, Magnum 500s are only 17 by 9. So the tires that we have on there right now would actually look good on the wheel. But uh, we still want some more meat underneath the back of this car. So let's start by unboxing them and see what they look like. We'll give you our opinion. This is a 17 by 8 here. It's going to be for the front. Oh, that looks dangerous. Uh -huh. Oh, it looks dangerous. Well, what do you think? What's your first impression? Uh, looks alright. Looks alright, huh? Mm -hmm. Why did you choose these over the other brands? Like uh, the American Racing and the Revs and all that? Mostly because the back lip looks good. The back lip? I like how the, the lips, it's not a step lip. They're just a flat lip. That's a all the way to the rim. That kind of mimics the old 15 inch style. Let's get this back one unboxed and see the amount of lip we got on it. Around here we like a lot of lip. And see right there, it does have about two more inches of, of lip in the front. Nice staggered look. We're going to get this thing jacked up and pull one of these other ones off and uh, see what it kind of looks like on the car. Do a little measuring to see if we'll be able to fit a 315 tire on there or if it's just going to hit the leaf spring. So overall, what do you think on the back ones? Back ones look good. So you should have bought back ones for the front? No, because the offset is so good. The staggeredness of them look good. Like He's that. uh. He's actually already had one complaint. He's not crazy about the uh, center caps. He thinks they look like the more of a Mopar or a Pontiac style center cap. So he's actually already ordered the running horse, which I advise not to just because, you know, I'm not crazy about it. But he did his own thing. So he's got a, some more center caps coming. Let's get it thrown up there and see what it looks like. Overview, first impressions of the HK 17 by 9, 17 by 8. First thing, 17 by 9. Where it's at for the lip. Real thick lip. That lip's pretty, pretty looks nice. So far, really, really impressed with the lips. I like the flat lips that these offer. It looks like we got a little more lip than the torque thrust. We 
Put them side by side where you can get a better look. You mean the rev? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, the, the torque thrust knockoff rev wheels. I don't know if you guys can see on camera how much better that lip looks compared to the lip on these. Wanna be knockoff rev torque thrust wannabes. Don't even know what name that rim does come out here and fit the fender well a lot better. What do you think now that you got it on there? I like it a lot. You like it a lot? Uh don't think that we're gonna be able to fit a three fifteen underneath the back of this car without uh moving the leaf springs in and that whole mess i think it's going to start rubbing the inner fender well it's uh, not going to be enough room he don't want to get into uh he don't want to get into all that but you're just going to have to live life with a little skinny 275s we're going to get the the front one on here, just see you can get kind of an idea of what everything's gonna look like. He seems to be pretty impressed, if you can't tell. He's kind of timid fella. But he did say he likes these a lot better. The reason he wants to go with these is uh he's about to start yeah, originality, but he's about to start uh, restoring this car, and he wants to go back with the, the factory Mach 1 pinstripes, you know, the big stripe down the side, the stripe on the trunk. He wants to do it all like that. He don't like the purple. His purple's getting old. Painted this car probably 12 years ago, so if you guys are interested in... Watching the total rebuild of this old car, consider subscribing. Uh, we're going to be pulling the motor out, freshening it up, and then we'll start getting some paint laid down on this thing. And you can just kind of sit back and watch it all come together. Got a general idea of what it's looking like. So, you impressed with the wheels? Yeah. Yeah. He's so impressed now he says he likes the purple. He said it made the purple look good. Made it look better than usual. <laughs> better than usual, huh? Mm -hmm. That purple. Usual hey, don't don't be cussing that Harbor Freight Jack. You ever buy a Harbor Freight Jack, guys? Don't do it. Even if it's cheap, even if it's half off, don't do it. Oh, listen, maybe, maybe one of the Daytona ones, they might be alright, they probably suck too. This guy's still complaining when he, he got it gave to him. Yeah. I gave him a jack, and I still got to hear about it. Well, you seen that old, let that wheel touch the ground. Well, I definitely never heard the end of that. Anyways, we just want to share with y'all, this is a first time he's ever bought any wheels of his own. He's pretty excited to share them with y'all. He was excited to see what they were going to look like. Like I said, if y'all want to see more of this build, more of my OBS build, consider subscribing. For now, guys, we'll catch y'all later.